In this video, we provide the solution to question number 11 from practice, practice exam number three for math 1050. We have the radical equation, the square root of x minus the square root of five minus x is equal to one. Um, our strategy when dealing with these square root equations is we wanna isolate one of the square roots, then square both sides, and then iterate this process until all the square roots are gone. Because there's a negative in front of the square root of x minus five, I'm gonna add the square root of x minus five to both sides, essentially moving it to the right-hand side of the equation. This gives us the square root of x is equal to one plus the square root of x minus five. So this is the moment where we're then gonna square both sides of the equation. Now be aware that when you square both sides of the equation, because the squaring function is not a one-to-one -one function, you're potentially adding fake solutions, these so-called party crashers we've talked about before. So we have to check our solutions at the end. Honestly, we should always check our solutions, but for this situation, even if we do everything right, if we don't check our solutions, we might find a solution that's not authentic, right? It's not a real solution. Uh, and I don't mean that as a, it's not a real number, it's just it doesn't actually solve the equation. Um, on the left-hand side, when you square the square root of x, you'll get an x. On the right-hand side, you do have to FOIL this thing out, right? Because it's 1 plus the square root times 1 plus the square root. So you get 1 times 1, which is 1. You'll get 1 times the square root, which is the square root of, of x minus 5. Then you'll get the square root times 1, so it's another square root of x minus 5. And then you'll square the square root, so you end up with an x minus 5, like so. Um, the square root of x minus 5 times square root of x minus 5 is x minus 5. Let's combine some like terms. We have x is equal to, well, you have 1 minus 5, so that's a negative 4. You have it, so you have x minus 4 there. And then you have 2 times the square root of x minus 5. Uh, so I want to move, again, I want to get that square root by itself. So I'm going to subtract x from both sides. That actually kills off all the x's. I'm going to add 4 to both sides. Add 4. Um, so then we end up with 2 times the square root of x minus 5 is equal to 4. Um, since everything's even, I think I'll divide both sides by 2 as well. So divide by 2, divide by 2. The 2's cancel on the left-hand side. And of course, 2 goes into 4 2 times. So we have the square root of x minus 5 is equal to 2. Uh, then again, we're going to square both sides. Square both sides here. Um, the fact that we might already have party crashers, we don't need to really acknowledge it again. Since they've already entered, we have to. We know we have to check here. You square the square root of x minus 5, you get x minus 5. Um, you square 2, you're going to end up with a 4. Adding 5 to both sides, you get that x is equal to 4 plus 5, which is 9. So it seems very possible that since we only have one solution, that that's the real authentic solution. But one still has to be very cautious. So let's go back above and see what happens if we plug in 9. If you plug in 9 here, you're going to get the square root of 9 minus the square root of 9 minus 4. Just looking on the left-hand side. The square root of 9 is 3. Um, with the second radical, 9 minus, nine minus uh, 5 is 4. So you get the square root of 4, which is a 2. 3 minus 2 is, in fact, equal to 1. This is a solution to the, to the equation. Therefore, 9 is an authentic solution. So we put a little box over, maybe put a bow, and it's, it's good to go.